I love this belly. It's beautiful. You want it? I want you! Japan wins! Newborns are no joke. Women are sleep deprived. It's dangerous to be sleep de deprived and America needs to learn from this. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so for some reason when I use this mode on my camera, it freezes all the time. I don't know what's going on. Um, and I can't find my chargers for my, my camera, so I'm gonna be using this a lot. Obviously, we have a big mess. Today, Diuji went to work, and so I'm just washing some clothes, and I want to edit my first Vlogmas video. Just so you guys know, these videos are probably not gonna be every single day because we're unpacking and we're doing a lot of stuff. Um, if you guys don't mind messy edits, um, that's probably what's gonna happen so I can get some more videos out. So I'm gonna be posting more often this month, which is great because we're already like moved in, settled in, and I'm loving where we're living. We're in more of the city now. We're in Tokyo, we're not in Chiba anymore. But my plan today is, I don't know how boring these videos are gonna be. Plan today is to get this first video done like in an hour and a half. That's probably gonna be insane, but I'm gonna try to get this video done really fast. And then I'm gonna go maybe out and get some lunch and donuts, oh my God. My donut addiction is so bad now because I'm craving sweets this second trimester. So I'm trying to slow down, but um, we live next to Mr. Donuts, which is a curse. Anyway, the baby's really active right now. That's my plan today. And um, yeah, we'll see how this video transpires, but it's Vlogmas day two. Okay, so I ordered some Uber Eats today because um, I didn't want to go out yet. I wanted to finish this video, get it done. I ordered something from a really famous onigiri shop. These are huge onigiri. They're like rice balls with like toppings and things like that. I got a sake mayo one, which is, sake means salmon in Japanese. And I probably should have got it without because I'm not a big fan of mayo. I don't know why I ordered it. But I got crab salad, which has cucumber, like crab and some corn. So I'm probably just gonna eat one of these because this is huge, it's massive. But I ordered this and I want to eat this really quick and finish my video. So that's what I'm having for lunch. Like the best side of the camera or on the front camera of this phone and I hope that you can hear me. But I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about how like, amazing Japan is when it comes to the services after your baby's born. Um, we went to the city hall. They told us to go to a, a separate building where they talk to where you're able to register your pregnancy because you kind of, it's not really a registration, but it's more about getting information about the city and the services. And they also have like a pediatrician at this place and everything. It looks brand new. This place is like just amazing compared to what we witnessed in Chiba. The building is just <laughs> amazing. There's like so many different things going on. There's classes, there's all sorts of things, which by the way, one of the things that bothers me a lot is that they don't have any first aid classes here, which kind of blows my mind. They have other classes like, you know, giving the baby a bath or cooking and things like that, but they don't have any first aid. So I might just do some like Udemy courses and stuff like that on newborn first aid and things like that. They do have like first aid classes in the middle of Tokyo, but I really don't want to travel all the way out there. Other than that, there are amazing services, and this is the same for like most cities, but I haven't really sat down and talked about it with you guys. The best thing about like Japan services is that they have a system where you can hire a sort of doula. Um, it's, it's not really necessarily a doula. I guess you could call it a doula. But this doula or this um, service member comes to your home. It's really cheap. I think that you can pay for it and then you get money back later. They basically come to your house every single day or every other day or whenever you want them to come. They come to your home and they help with the cooking and the cleaning and the grocery shopping. And they help you, you know, clean the baby, walk, clean the baby, wash the baby um, in the bathtub and like give you some tips and pointers and things like that. So you're never really alone because um, a lot of, you know, husbands work and have to go into Tokyo and the women are home 
home alone and you know especially first-time moms they don't know what to do and so it's a lot of help and you can do that up until the baby is one year old we're definitely taking advantage of the service because i'm blown away by the price of it the fact that there are english speakers that can come to your house and like to not have to clean and cook another friend of mine said that this was the best service and she's so glad that japan has this because she would have never been able to you know put the baby down for a second and like clean and cook and like do all these things it's super convenient and i'm so glad that they have that service also the other great thing about japan is that most hospitals and maternity clinics have a day service where you can go in there whenever you feel exhausted or you need a little help and you need a little sleep and rest you can go to those maternity clinics or preferably your maternity clinic if they have this service some don't so you have to go to a different hospital but so basically you go to the hospital and the midwives like help you take care of the baby while you sleep also have like an overnight service it's kind of like a hotel service so it's like six thousand yen to stay overnight which is a little less than like sixty dollars in usd i don't know the exchange rate right now but i think it's much less than that and the day service is like 2,000 yen or like 3,000 yen or something like that so like 20 bucks for the day so you can get some sleep and rest because newborns are no joke women are sleep deprived it's dangerous to be sleep de deprived and america needs to learn from this <laughs> you get you know gift money you get like a thousand dollars worth of baby stuff it's just amazing with all the stuff that you get when you give birth and it makes me want to like stay in japan much longer than i wanted to so we can have a second baby because we both want two kids but i feel a lot less alone i think the city kind of like comes it really takes a village to raise a child in japan <laughs> it's so much cheaper here it's literally like um you get coupons to go to the doctor some, some of my friends are talking about co-pays and I'm like we don't have that in japan they give us coupons and it's like five thousand yen towards your visit so most visits are like super cheap it could range from two dollars to what like $50 for the appointment and then the whole birth itself they the government reimburses you so it's probably going to be about $800 $900 ish depending on where you're living and you know the city and the maternity clinic and all that stuff it's so cheap it's just and the the support is just astronomical I'm very impressed I'm so excited to give birth here and this pregnancy has been stressful at times, but I'm actually really enjoying being pregnant. I love looking at my belly in the mirror. I love feeling my baby's kick. I love seeing my baby. Like I love going through this process, even though it's hard and unpredictable, but it's been a journey and it's been a very good one. Um, despite the little hiccup in the hospital, you know, I'm getting through it. I'm 23 weeks pregnant now, so I'm in my second trimester. So we have like 18 weeks to go. It could be less than that. The baby could come a little bit early, who knows? Hopefully the baby will go full term, but you never know. We have our first appointment with our new clinic this weekend, so hopefully that'll go really well because my last clinic wasn't the best. We'll see how that is. And then my doula, um, I actually hired a doula from, she's from the UK, but she lives here. And I think she has three kids. She lives like two stops away from me now, so like she can come pretty quickly if I were to go into labor. That's what's been going down. We got all of our appointments out of the way. The only things that's left is to really just prepare for the baby and set up our apartment nicely, organize things. But you know, it's hard because we have to get it all done within like three months. If you would like to donate to the virtual baby shower, which we will be having in February, thank you to those who have already donated. You are amazing. Um, I wasn't expecting the amount of donations, but it does help so much to get the stuff that's needed for the baby. We can use some of our, you know, own money to like really make baby proof this apartment and things like that. Of course, family and friends are sending gifts and like all of that stuff. So you will be properly thanked in the video, I promise. And the gender reveal is going to be around Christmas time. So look forward to that in hopefully this month <laughs> or after new year um because i know everybody's very busy so we'll be posting our gender reveal very soon we didn't find out until like a week ago so past videos that i uploaded were like way before we learned the gender i didn't even know the gender in the hospital when i was there so i'm gonna edit this video and i'm probably gonna go get some donuts i want a donut cake and it's so bad but i really want donuts and <laughs> 
I love that there's like malls around here and department stores and things like that. So day one is being uploaded. It's probably gonna be like, we're just gonna call it day one. And then the next video, day two, or maybe I'll change it. I don't know. What should I call it? Vlogmas part one? No, it's weird. Vlogmas video one or something. I don't know. Chapter one. Chapter one sounds fun. My go-to crispy chicken or chicken crisp they call it and french fries. I mean, like, I'm just gonna eat this and wait for my video to upload. It's taking forever, so I might just eat this and then go for a walk and pick up some donuts. have arrived and I will show you which donuts I got. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see me or if this is even recording, but I'm gonna open this up. You can take a look inside. Here is our the donuts. I got this cute little snowman Pikachu. This is my husband's favorite. I like this one too. And I got this one. This one actually is something that I had before and it's so good. It's kind of crunchy, like doughy. And then I got like a, a, not a cream filled one, not a custard cream, but it's like um, whipped cream inside this donut. And that, those are like my two go-to like type donuts. I'm gonna have to eat one and just eat the rest later. All right, I managed to find my vlogging camera. So I just need to find the batteries and the chargers. And I have no idea where they are. So this is gonna be really fun. My stomach does not feel very good and my baby's probably like, geez mom, way to like give me the nutrition that I need. I haven't started unpacking. I really wanna get the kitchen stuff out just so I can go grocery shopping tomorrow and start cooking and get into a routine. But I also don't wanna overdo it because I am pregnant. Let me find the batteries here and I will get back to you in just a moment. I did find one battery and I'm charging it right now. So, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today, but at least tomorrow I'm gonna be like cleaning all day. Um, and then maybe towards the end of the night, I'll edit this video. Which box should I tackle? This is how big I am, how pregnant, pregnant I am. I look like I'm freaking 30 some weeks. I don't, I don't know what's going on. This baby's getting really big. So I'm gonna start unpacking and do my best to get all the kitchen stuff out of the way. There's some empty boxes here and things like that that I need to get rid of. I'm just gonna start doing it because it's never gonna get done. I'm just like antsy and I just wanna get everything done. So we will start doing it. water bottle that I need to start using because this is like a good amount of water to drink when you have a baby. Even like two of these would be amazing because I'm really bad at drinking water and if I do drink water I have to pee all the time and at this point I'm leaking pee which is I know super gross but it happens during pregnancy because the baby like kicks my bladder and then I have to like either run to the bathroom or I just leak everywhere. It's BPA free. I just got it on Amazon. It's like one of those timer bottles. Drinking at least like one and a half of these would be amazing because this is a two liter bottle, so. Yes. Baby, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, can you hear me? Okay, yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey. Um, what? Do you want it? I want you! The uh, Oh, yes I do. <laughs> It's 6 
6am and Japan won this round. Yuji woke up and he's he never wakes up really. It's hard, so hard to get him out of, out of bed. <laughs> but, but if there's a match, you'll wake up. What the heck? <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Citizen duty. What is this news? This is the news in Japan, guys. Belly! <laughs> Look how big! I love this belly. It's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you for watching and if you are interested in participating in the virtual baby shower you can donate with the link down below or you can go to my Instagram with the link in my bio. Stay tuned for the next Vlogmas video.